Hello, and thank you for joining us for this segment of Daily Bible Bites at Mount Olive Multicultural Community Church. Today, we are in chapters 11 and 12 of the book of 1 Samuel. At this time, Nahash led the army of the Ammonites against Jabesh Gilead, but the citizens asked for peace. All right, Nahash said, but I will gouge out the right eye of every one of you. Give us seven days to see if we can get some help, replied the elders of Jabesh. When a messenger came to Gebeah and told the people about their plight, everyone broke into tears. Saul asked, what's the matter? So they told him. Then the spirit of God came strongly upon Saul and he became very angry. He took two oxen and cut them into pieces and sent messengers to carry them throughout all Israel. This is what will happen to the oxen of anyone who refuses to follow Saul and Samuel to battle, he announced. And God caused the people to be afraid of Saul's anger, and they came to him as one man. There were 300,000 in addition to the 30,000 from Judah. So he sent the messengers back to Gabesh Gilead to say, we'll, we will rescue you before tomorrow noon. The men of Jabesh then told their enemies, tomorrow you can do to us as you wish. But early the next morning, Saul launched a surprise attack against the Ammonites and slaughtered them all. Then the people exclaimed to Samuel, where are those men who said that Saul shouldn't be our king? We will kill them. But Saul replied, no one will be executed today, for today the Lord has rescued Israel. Then Samuel said, come let us reconfirm Saul as our king. 12. Then Samuel addressed the people again. Look, he said, I have given you a king. Have I ever defrauded you? Tell me and I will make right whatever I have done wrong. No, they replied, you have never defrauded us. It was the Lord who appointed Moses and Aaron, Samuel continued. Now stand here quietly. I remind you all of the good things he has done for you. When the Israelites in Egypt cried out to the Lord, he sent Moses and Aaron to bring them into his land. Then the Lord sent Gideon, Barak, Jephthah, and Samuel to save you. But when you were afraid of the king of Ammon, you wanted a king, but the Lord was already your king. All right, here's the king you have chosen. Now, if you will fear the Lord and listen to his commandments, then all will be well. But if you rebel, then his hand will be heavy upon you. Now watch as the Lord does great miracles. It does not rain at this time of year. I will pray for rain today. So Samuel called to the Lord and the Lord sent rain and all the people were afraid. Pray for us, lest we die, they cried out to Samuel. We have added to our sins by asking for a king. Don't be frightened, Samuel reassured them. You have done wrong, but make sure now that you worship the Lord. Other gods can't help you. As for me, I will certainly not sin against the Lord by ending my prayers for you. Trust the Lord and worship him. But if you continue to sin, you and your king will be destroyed. We have a very simple message here. At the beginning of 12, um, we see that the people asked for, I'm sorry, the beginning of 11, the people asked for peace and they asked for some help. And that help came with conditions. When you ask for help from people, if God has not directed you to those people, then it's gonna come with conditions more often than not. If you go to the Lord, he will direct you to the people that he has used already to get the job done, that he is already positioned to get the job done, or it's something that he will just miraculously do himself. All in all, go to God. Don't put anybody in front of him. He has never promised us anything with conditions on it. Amen. We are in the new covenant. We have never lived a life where there's been a condition to what God said. The only thing that we have to do is be saved. That's it. We need to confess with our mouth and believe in our heart that he is the Lord Jesus Christ and we will be saved. If we are saved, then all these things are added to us. We don't have to get stuck in decision making. We don't have to get stuck in who we should help, who we should give things to, who we should stand back from, who we should allow to travel with us on our journeys through life. We don't have to get caught up in any of these things because God, through the leading of the Holy Spirit, will always direct us. He's left us a comforter to 
to be able to do this. And we just have to accept God into our hearts, Christ as our Savior, and ignite the Holy Spirit by telling him we want him to lead us, guide us, direct us, and teach us. And no hurt, harm, or danger can ever come nigh us. Remember, the enemy is here to still kill and destroy our potential, our um, goals, our purpose in life. He can't take our physical lives, but he can surely try to lead us down an, an improper course. Let God lead you and let God lead you all the way through the aid of his Holy Spirit and you will never, ever fail. Thank you so much for joining us for this segment of Daily Bible Bites at Mount Olive Multicultural Community Church. We do hope that you'll join us on the other side, as we always say, at www.dltmoreministries.com for Bible studies, weekly services, prayer groups, wellness ministry, and small groups on many different topics. If you have any questions, you can give us, send us a message over there at the website, and you can also give us suggestions about what you would like to see. If there's any small group that you would like to join in, again, just send us a message and we'll make sure that we take care of that. We love you in Jesus' name and we hope to see you again soon. God bless you.